All right, guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. I got my good buddy Kim Bishop with me tonight. I got Daniel Owens with us tonight. I brought Hyde. We're down here in South Carolina. It's training season right now. Daniel, tell us about your dog. Uh, his name is Samson, uh, White Lightning. He's Schooner River bred. So uh, he's just about five months old right now. Pretty big, so. Have you had him in the woods much? He'll walk around, fill some feeders, but other than that, nothing much yet. Cool. Well, we're going to get him in the woods here on some game management, these wild coons, and hopefully before the night's over, we can get a coon or two treat up. So, old Kim here, he uh, got a little back injury going on, recovering, so he's going to hang out the truck and listen to some hound music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, listen to the music tonight. If we get any. <laughs> well, we got high. There'll be some music. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to we're gonna grab a dog and get in the woods. All right, guys, we got high. Got Daniel Sampson. Daniel, you ready? Let's do it. All right, cut him. Hey, guys, just want to talk about this lead right here. Give a shout out to Jordan Wright with uh, she's got a business, girls with hounds and hunting with hounds. She made me this paracord lead right here, and uh. Of course, it's got the nightlife colors, green and black. It's tree lead, got the ring in the middle, got the chain. Really high quality, I love it. Best part is, I messaged her and I told her, I said, if you don't mind, make it about six inches longer because I like a real long lead. And she totally accommodated me and this thing is really awesome. Just had it on high and he was pulling a little bit and it did not stretch. Looks beautiful. So Jordan, I appreciate this. If any of you guys are interested in getting a, uh, lead strap like this she also does neck lanyards for your tracking system and your squallers um, hit her up jordan right on facebook where you can look up girls with hounds or hunt with hounds i think they got a website and i'll try to post a link to it in the description below See, he just kind of put it around there in that little spot. Yeah. He's real close to us now. But... Well, guys, we got Hyde in there. He's, oh, what is that, 300 yards. How far is Samson? 93. Sticking around in a little spot. 93. Samson went off for about 200 yards, and he's kind of come back. Not bad for a five-month-old pup. There he is. There's Samson right there. Alright guys, we're going to walk a little bit closer and give Hyde time to make sure he's going to sit with it. We'll be back with him. Alright guys, Hyde's about 164 yards in there. Just make sure he's going to stick it. He almost sounds unsure of himself. The reason why I ain't went in there. All right, guys, we're going to walk in there. We'll see you at the tree. Oh, All right, oh, guys, we're in there. Hi, oh, it's tree. Oh, oh. Bunch of blow down right here. I hadn't shined the tree good, so I don't know if it's up there or not. But a uh, bunch of blow down here. We're going to get back and check the tree real good and let you know if we find it. All right, guys, found the coon. I don't know if y'all see it way up there. I'm going to hit the squaller, see if he look a little heavier. Throw your red light up there, Daniel. We'll get a little more red power going. 
There you go. Ow. There's screen guys, y'all see? Old hide, 300 yards in the game management. Wild coon got the meat. That boy hide, talk to him, son. That's right up in there. There's a lot of leaves on there, ain't there? All right, we're going to pull hide back here. We're going to let uh, Daniel get his pup up there. See if we can encourage him on the tree a little bit. All right, guys, I'm not sure if we can get on camera, but Daniel actually just seen three coons. One stick in the middle of it, one right there, the other, the other two were right there. And that last one right over here on this side. Definitely can't see no bodies. We just get eyes every now and then. <laughs> That's a good tree. Let's work on this pup a little bit. Good boy, Todd. Good boy. Good boy, Samson. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Samson. Good boy. Smell it out, Samson. Smell it out. Smell it out. Good boy. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Samson, good boy. Good boy. Come on. That's good boy. Come on. Good boy. Talk to him. Talk to him. Good boy. Talk to him. All right, guys. We're going to head back to the truck. Hi. Dead, son. Let's go. Good boy. Come on now. Let's go, truck. We'll go get us another. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, hi. Hi. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. All right, guys. I'm going to show you a little bit of a quick tip here. We got Samson here and Daniel. Kim's going to show him how to teach to load his dog. Probably what he'll do is he'll just get his front legs up there, which is good. And that's what you want to do when they're this young. So, Daniel, when you get him up to the truck, you want to tug on the lead a little bit and say, hup. Let him get his legs up there and pet him when you get it. He does do that. See what he does. Huh? Load up. Head on the table so you know what you're doing. Good boy. Atta boy. Good boy. He's hip to him. Now when he gets older, a little more bigger, he'll go to jumping. Through lots of repetition, he'll get it one again. There you guys go. There's a little bit of quick tip how to start introducing your pup to getting on the tailgate. All right, guys, we had a second drop. Daniel, you ready? Let's do it. Cut them. All right, so Daniel's dog decided to take a big old poop in my dog box on my brand new pad. Show them what your dog done. Ew. Lick it off. <laughs> yeah, right. So I got him over here. Kim told him to come over here and rake it off on this grass, try to clean it off. Ooh. We got a bottle of water over there, you might dump on it, help it out a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, how's it been there a few minutes? He's about 160 yards from us. 170. Zigzagging around a little bit. Looks better. Still not great. But Did you get? Well, not too bad. Later. I appreciate you cleaning off him. Making a good effort. You get an A for effort. I get a gold star. <laughs> now, you'll have to get a hold of that dog. Tell him not to do that. Now. Why do you make him understand that? Can you make him understand not to poop on the mats in the dog box anymore? Maybe. Well, if 
you can. You make sure to write that down <laughs> because we'll all be real. <laughs> I think we should take Daniel and rub his nose in it and whoop his hind end and maybe his dog would learn the lesson watching. <laughs> oh me. Alright guys, hides in there about five eighty. Circling. We can already drive down the road here and get a little closer to him. Come on, Hyde. Alright guys. Good boy, Hyde. Hyde went in there. About 800 yards or so down the river. He opened up one time and Kim says a bunch of dentries in there. He never could work it out, so hide. No, sir. He never could work it out or do really anything with it, and it's getting late, so I went ahead and toned him and pulled him on out of here. So we're gonna load him up. Anything you wanna say? You wanna give, you you give out your phone number to the ladies? I could say. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. All right, guys, we appreciate you all watching tonight. Come down and game management. Uh, we treed one for sure on the first drop. Daniel said he seen a couple other eyes, but that was a really good, easy drop, 300 yards. Um, your little pup went in there, got by itself for a little bit. That's pretty good. All that she's ever done so far, 210. That's good. Five months old, not bad. He'll make a good dog one again. He'll get in there, no doubt about it. Pretty cool. Takes a little time. A little patience with him. Put in here on this second drop and hide when they're six, seven hundred yards, something like that. Got on the river located up one time, but I could tell by what he was doing. It was a bad track. And Kim said there's a bunch of dens in there. Where you yeah. go? Treed in there many times. There's several several rows of dens in there. All it is is a little island between the canal and the river itself. And uh, there's several dens right there in the road and I've treated there many times. Yeah. Uh, being it's kind of late, I do got to work tomorrow even though it's a Saturday. And bad spot to get in there and tree. Figured it might be a den anyway. I just went ahead and toned him, pulled him on out of here. Handled good and uh, all dogs are back safe. We've seen some meat and had a good night. Yes, sir. Did you have fun, Dan? Oh, yeah. You're... I always love coon hunt. <laughs> all right, guys. If you don't mind, click like on this video. Be sure to subscribe to us. Share it with your friends. Of course, if you need any hunting supplies, visit us at nightlifekennel.com. We'll hook you up. We appreciate you. We love you. Until next time, true one for us. Remember, have faith in the Lord, faith in the good dog. Amen.